We're here this afternoon at Duns Creek Cemetery. Once again, out here on the north side of Jacksonville. And this is called Duns Creek Cemetery. The name was changed at some point in time. The name used to be the Wilkinson Cemetery because the Wilkinson family owned all this property, or a lot of this property, right down here. And actually through the Robertses, which we'll get to in a few minutes down here, Robert's family actually married into the Wilkinson family. Right there's Walter Wilkinson. He was born in 1867. And there's Martha Eliza Wilkinson. She was born in 1838. And her husband, Daniel P. Wilkinson, was born in 1833. Unfortunately, that stone's been toppled over and broke. And it's a shame, but there's not much you can do with that. A lot of times it's best just to leave it like it is rather than try and mess with it. Now, a couple of people we come down here to see today is in my last video we were talking about the Williamses, my grandpa Walter. Well, this was his wife that is my ancestor, not one of the other ones that he was married to. But this is Mary Stafford Williams. Then next to her we've got two of her, well, her son and his wife. But Mary Stafford married into the Williamses, but the Stafford family is an old English family. Uh, any of you that's ever watched anything about Henry VIII on television have heard the name Stafford before. Now, my direct lineage goes back to those Staffords. And in fact, her direct Stafford line back, her, I don't know how many greats, I'd have to count them, goes back to William Stafford the third who come to this country in about 1620, if I remember correctly, from England. Uh, his father was William Stafford II. And an interesting story is his father, William Stafford I, not only married the woman who would become my great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmother, but prior to that, he was actually married to Anne Boleyn's sister, Mary, who was a consort to Henry VIII. And that's just a little piece of history there. I'm not kin to the Boleyns, but one of my great-great-grandfathers was married into the Boleyns. Oh, uh, now, over here, we've got some of my Robert's kins. This is Jonathan K. Roberts. Now, the K stood for Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, and he was in the 1st Florida Calvary, Confederate States of America, 1826 to 1907. Now, 
in the first Florida Cavalry, he was a cavalryman. He rode a horse and he went into battle. But on his muster card, he's listed as a musician. Now, I don't know what instrument he played, but each regiment and company had their own band and he was part of it. So, wish I could find what instrument he played just out of curiosity more than anything else. My brother, as I said before, was a musician. And, uh, but anyway, just a fun fact. Now, his wife was uh, Mary Alford, Alford, Alford. Uh, she's buried over in uh, Union County near Olusty. Um, uh, a lot of her family's buried over that way in the Swift Creek Cemetery. Lord, that's a big one. My uncle and my mother and myself went over there a few months back and it's huge now it's actually a graveyard it's not a cemetery uh, for those of you uh, trivia people out there or whatever a graveyard is connected to a church whereas a cemetery is independent of a church so <clears throat> anyway she died in 1920 I think it was she had moved back over with family so dying over there it was probably just too much trouble and bother to bring her all the way back over here and bury her uh, like I said a lot of these people were poor farmers and if you're not driving a car and all you got is a mule and a wagon that's a long drive over here in a mule and wagon. I don't know how long it would take, but probably a couple of days at best. Uh, but he's one of my ancestors. And like I say, there's not many more over here. This one's just kind of convenient to where I live at, so it was easy for me to come over here real quick. I had some time this afternoon and thought I would make the trip. Now my Aunt Jean, my sister's husband, the one that's buried over at Eubanks, he's a shepherdette. And this is a small plot area that they have in here. Uh, Floyd and Etta is some of his people. Uh, Alvin over here. Alvin Jeffredak. Kind of weird. That's the infant son of this. Alvin Shepherdack. Now, this Alvin Shepherdack, if I'm not mistaken, was brother to my uncle's dad, Lyle Shepherdack Sr. And this is their son, Ronnie, who passed away in 2008. They got a Nice red bass there on his stone. <laughs> Ronnie was a cutter. Bright red hair and extremely jolly. He was always laughing and talking. And <laughs> uh, me and him had some good times together off and on. And they run a fish market down at Yellow Bluff which is actually Fort Yellow Bluff down there. 
Uh, only fort it was. There wasn't no, this wasn't no stone fort. This was made with embankments in the sand. And they may have had some sharpened post or something like that in it or whatever, but it was uh, not much of a fort. But it guarded a strategic part of the river down there. But anyway, the Shepherd X had a fish market down there for years. And my granddaddy used to go down there and see Red. He ran it most of the time. And he'd go down there and he'd say, let's go down and see Red and get us a mullet. Boy, he liked mullet. He'd rather eat a mullet than any other fish. Me, I'm partial to red bass and flounder. But anyway, like I said, this was just close to the house. And I thought I'd come by here and connect a few dots as we go on the trail. Uh, tomorrow I'm thinking about riding over to Connor Green Cemetery and I can fill in a whole lot on my grandma's side of the family <coughs> going over there. There's, I don't know, probably four, maybe five generations I'd have to sit down and think about it for a while, but there's four or five generations over there. And the reason I'm walking over here is I've seen this cross that somebody's made over here. And I just thought it was rather nice. Thought I'd come over and get a picture of it. Y'all have to Excuse that sun that's right in my eye. I know it's in the eye of the camera. Alice Marquette Spaulding, 1934 to 2022. Uh, now, she's about the age of my mother. Uh, a lot of the Collinses are buried down here. Caldwell's. Pritchards, some of the halls. Uh, next door is Tyson's Duns Creek Cemetery. The signs over there, I'll get a shot of it as I'm going out. And ironically, uh, well, let's walk over there for a second. Ironically, my grandpa, Walter, whose wife is buried right over there and was married several times. He was also married to this lady over here. Her name was Ruby Caldwell. This is Tyson's Dunn Creek Cemetery sign. Take pride in your heritage. Now there's a lot of people that don't know what their heritage is or even care one way or the other. Uh, people that like to do what I do are a dying breed, no pun intended, but Like I say, most of them just don't care one way or the other. But anyway, here's Ruby Caldwell Baker. She got married again after her and my great-grandfather divorced or whatever. Uh, now, story behind her is <laughs> my grandfather told me this. I assume it's true. He was not one for telling an untruth. 
uh, he done the funeral. And apparently, Miss Ruby was a good sized woman. And she was so big, in fact, that she was buried in a piano box. Now, I'm a big fella, but I don't think it would take a piano box. And like I say, it's a story he told me. So I'm going to take it for truth because I'll tell you what, I never know the man to tell a lie in his life. He didn't care one way or the other who it hurt or the consequences or anything else. If he said it, you could almost take it to the bank as far as I was concerned or whatever. He just didn't lie. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. This was a little bit shorter than the other one. But that's pretty much. But there's quite a few people buried on this Tyson side over here. I'm not sure the official count over here, but just rough looking. There's two to three hundred over here, and over in the Dunn Creek Cemetery, I'm gonna say there's hundred, maybe a hundred and fifty. So. Anyway, we're going to say goodbye to these beautiful oak trees down here. This is another place. Eubanks is full of them. And down here, are, we've got some oaks down here that have been around 100 and 200 years. Down here, they filled up with Spanish moss this time of year. And it sure is pretty and peaceful down here. Anyway, we appreciate you. Coming to our channel once again. And again, I want to ask you to like and subscribe. And y'all have a good afternoon. And God bless you. And y'all take care.